Tis the season for that and for opening some gifts. Uh, also some new hotels and restaurants in the area. Yeah, a, a lot of them, in fact. One of the most anticipated openings is actually all three, a new hotel, a new bar, and a new restaurant. The new Hewing Hotel is a nod to Minneapolis's milling and farming history. And today, the maker community here in the Twin Cities. Local furnishings meet local spirits, and that's where we find Mike's Mix. We were built in 1897 as a farm implementation showroom and warehouse. So that why, is why we have such great windows all along the front of the building. What's risen from the dust inside the historic Jackson building is a reinvention, not a raising, of its past. The hotel is named for the term to hew, meaning to mill lumber, making it usable for construction. But you'll see that, that nod to the lumber mill days throughout the space. We have hatchets in all of the guest rooms. Um, you'll see the hand-hewn wood behind the front desk. You see the atrium that goes all the way through to the skylight on the sixth floor. So we do get natural daylight all the way through every single floor. A blown glass sculpture created by Foci in northeast Minneapolis to mimic raindrops brings a modern touch to the space. And then we have a couple of purple ones that are a nod to prints. Nice, so local tie. Yes, everything that we could is local. So from the furniture in the guest rooms done by Blue Dot out of Northeast Minneapolis to all of our local partnerships with food and beverage. We've got Spy House Coffee, Spruce Soda, um, Tattersall and Far North Spirits and as many local beers as we could fathom. From those spirits, lead bartender Trish Gavin serves a menu of six cocktails based off of classics. Today, she's helping me make the namesake cocktail of the Norse goddess Freya. Goddess of everything, um, <laughs> love, sex, war, death. Um, she was pulled in the chariot by two cats. Oh, so she was the ultimate cat lady then? This an obscene cat lady. The ingredients are as diverse as Freya's powers, but they all taste like fall. Based with one of the hot spirits of the moment, Mezcal. I like to call it cactus scotch. It's actually nothing to do with scotch, but it's a um, smoky agave spirit. And Minneapolis made Norseman barrel aged rum. Liqueur 43 adds some seasoning. 43 is a lovely Spanish liqueur, lots of vanilla and spices in the base. Apples provide the sweetness. It's apple cider that we cook down a little bit and then add sugar to. And, and then a couple dashes of black scotch bitters. Serve the cocktail in an iced lowball glass. Garnished with some apple slices and fresh ground cinnamon. Mmm. The smokiness of the mezcal really pairs nicely with the sweetness of the, the apple. That's, that sounds really like a nice balanced cocktail. It is, and it's a stunning space, too. Uh, it's all sort of coming together as we speak. The cocktail menu, the new Nordic uh, food menu over mm -hmm. at Tulabi, which is adjacent to uh, the, the hotel um, restaurant adjacent to the hotel bar. You can check any of them out any time of day. And if you want to make that recipe at home, it's posted at wccocom Mike's Mix. Even if you're not staying in a hotel, great place to go there. Yep. Okay. Thank you, Mike.